dear friends so glad you joined in one more time um, and you know you tuned in to learn from god's word and so excited about what god can do uh, as we honor his word as we meditate on his word so let's continue studying about the subject of favor and we've been seeing how god's favor can make a big difference and today i want to talk about the fact that god's favor can position us the good example is the life of daniel you know how even though the children of israel became slaves in babylon god caused daniel and his friends to be positioned in places of influence god favored daniel is what we read in daniel chapter 1 and verse 9 and that's how you know daniel was able to make the impact that he did and of course his friends as well but it took god's favor upon the life of an individual for great things to happen you know once again the life of esther is a classic example of the way god positions us god picked a girl who was not from a royal background and put her in the palace not so she could enjoy all the bounty of the palace and uh, you know just satisfy herself for her own pleasure but god had a greater purpose god positions us god positions us so that we can work for his purpose and that is also something we see in both daniel and esther's life today wherever you are you know uh, that is a place where god has put you let's do our best to glorify god to engage in things that uh, will bring honor to the name of god and we know that god puts visions in our hearts and he wants us to look ahead in life there can be so many things even though right now we are uh, at a certain place you know doing uh, ministry at a certain level serving at a certain level doing our job at a certain level yes we must enjoy the journey it's not always uh, about just the finish line even today god is with us favoring us strengthening us in what we are doing and we can look ahead we can look ahead at the great things that will be accomplished for his name sake because god positions us and god keeps positioning us in places where he wants us to be so friends let's not get discouraged you know if you are in a place today and you're wondering you now why is it that uh, you know i am struggling and i am unable to see the hand of god upon my life have faith in god the way god spoke to his jesus spoke to his disciples in mark 11:24 i want to tell you have faith in god and god will keep moving you to places where you can be a greater blessing you can be a bigger blessing to the people around you so stay in faith and god will keep moving you and you will be able to do wonderful things for him let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you God that as we journey with you Lord you are taking us from strength to strength you are taking us from glory to glory you are taking us from faith to faith Lord we thank you we thank you that uh, through your favor upon our lives Lord we will find ourselves in places where we can be a great blessing and Lord those who are experiencing hindrances Lord and opposition we pray that you will make a way for them lord to come into the life's calling lord father thank you according to your timing lord you will do it for us we bless and honor you in jesus name we pray amen thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally for more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org